Hi hey everyone, it is Brad and Ella again for a little bit of a chat and a little bit of a review this time. The first one. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a chit chat about Huonville. Yeah, Huonville Caravan Park. We recently just stayed there. We stayed for about a week, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And we had a really good time, so we thought we're going to film this for you guys in the hopes that you'll go there too and have a really good time. It's Great. the biggest caravan park we've been mm. to by size. So big that the guy was like, ah, don't, don't bother booking, just rock up. Which stresses me <laughs> out. I like to book, I like to know. <laughs> There's a place for me to park, but yep. it's fine. There's there is there certain is personalities that don't vibe with that approach, but yes, I am not the free-spirited one. Um, but there's like 250 campsites there, and they're all quite large in space. Mm. We we're probably taken aback by how big the sites were across the whole park, um, mm. and we were lucky enough to get a freaking cracking spot uh, right near. I think near we got the best one. Right near the beach. Yeah. They said it's the best beach. one. And so it's right on the beach. Right Imported near sand on the creek. <laughs> right near uh, a barbecue area and a big play area. So lots of people around and, uh, and it was really cool. Yeah, and another thing that they really look after this park really well too. Like they were watering the grass every day and multiple times a day. Um, the toilets and shower facility is really good. Apparently it got burnt down in 2019 and so yeah. they had to rebuild it and it looks yeah. amazing it's now. Stunning. Beautiful camp kitchen. But, I mean, those things are important, but this is the most expensive caravan park we've been to in 12 months. And Brad and I were like very skeptical, skeptical, skeptical of how good this place would actually be. So we didn't actually know if this this would actually happen, right? It's, it's, one, of those, well, it's one of those things where it's like you, you, you go to a campsite, you always compare it to the 50 others we've been to. And so, and, and yeah. because it costs so much, um, and it costs so much, not so much because like it's $50 a night and then it's $10 for every child, um, which mm. is a bit of a rarity for young kids. Mm. Um, so now you're at 70 and then because we got the best site on the river, it's another $10. Um, and so we got stunned for $80 a night. But that being said, it is the only caravan park where there is feeding Tasmanian devils. And so much to offer for the kids. So. And cows and like, there's just activities every afternoon with the farm um, that people go to, which is amazing. Yeah. And 4 um, p.m. every afternoon, every except for Sundays. Yeah. They do like a farm show for the kids. And it's just a really fun, mm. like the guy that runs it is just such a character. I was laughing at him the whole time. And then they do the devil feeding after that. And then on Saturdays, they do the foam, like this massive foam party for the kids. Yeah. And that was really cool. I don't know how it works, but it's crazy. So, yeah, it's like a bubble machine. Like, it's it's just a bubble machine, everywhere. but it's yeah, it's it's incredible. So I even had fun. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so you take into all that account facilities being amazing, staff being amazing, sites being massive, um, fantastic location for travelling south to Hastings and different different areas around there. Um, so and Bruning Island as yeah, well, not yeah, too far it's, away. It's, it's a really good central spot. Um, the town itself is is charming and and. and you know, quite small, but has everything to offer. And so you kind of always kind of shifting down, okay, is this, is this worth the most money we've spent? And, and it probably is. I it think ticks so. all the boxes. And I so, think so I think we wanted to be like, no, 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 it wasn't. But I think at the end of the day, we had a really good experience there. And um, one of the things too, like I was looking through their Facebook page and they just like feel like they're really community minded, the mm. people that run it. Yeah. And I think that's really rare because a lot of people that run caravan parks are pro probably really burnt out, really over it. You know, it would be a hard job to have. Um, but also like um, the guy that runs it um, tries to put all the families together, which we yeah. really loved because a lot of the time we're next to <laughs> grey nomads or something like that. that or people that just want a are in a different phase of our life. And so this caravan park felt like really family friendly, right? And like, yeah, yeah. I wasn't it's... like, oh no, my kids are like having a tantrum or a meltdown because I'm like, oh, they get it. <laughs> like... <laughs> they did, there was, yeah. It was probably one of the most, especially in Tasmania, it's probably the most family centric park that we've been at. And I think that comes mm. to the decision making of where they're putting people. 
Um, and not to say that, look, if you don't have kids, there's so many amazing spots where you can get put. So well, like, if I didn't have kids, I would, I would want to be separated from the kids too, because I, I, I would want to sleep in. Like, <laughs> I would, I, if I didn't have kids, I would not yeah. want to camp near us. So exactly. <laughs> so, so I get it. But we're appreciative of that because it, yeah. he's, he, yeah. Anyway, it's smart. And I think. Um, yeah, like we like swam in the river there too. Mm. Some people wouldn't know there's a resident platypus there that we saw like a little baby one. And our friends that stayed there before us saw Tasmanian wild devils on the beach there. So we didn't see that. And you can hear them in the bush at night, like squealing. It's like yeah. a, a wild pig squeal. But I think <laughs> I think the, the cool thing as well that we liked is that they had a communal fire pit. Yeah. So that was really cool because um, at night you could like get to meet people, you know. Having chats. Having chats, making Have the kids hypo on marshmallows. Yeah. So it was it was quite cool. Yeah. So, so thank you Human View. Thank you for the time there. We had a blast and if you're in the yeah. area make sure you check it out and uh, and, yeah. and know what you're getting in for. Yeah. Your kids will thank you.